We continue to put a spotlight on the order of President Muhammad Buhari for an audit of the NDDC plus the politics of the Niger Delta region, the development and the money spent in the last 10 years. How far? And controversy is still as uh, Kogi lawmakers today declared the Deputy Governor Mr. Simon Achuba impeached. Mr. Achuba says it is illegal and he remains the number two man in the state. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Walking Bala. It's Friday and what a day to discuss some of these issues. Uh, some of them are baffling and so we get to talk about them to find some kind of solution. But let's, our first stop is in Kogi State where it's a fiasco if you may call it. The Kogi State Deputy Governor Mr. Simon Achuba has been declared impeached by the State House of Assembly. The lawmakers had moved to impeach Mr. Achuba, citing the utterances of the deputy governor on national television, which they describe as gross misconduct. The impeachment process followed a petition signed by 21 members of the assembly, which was presented on the floor by the majority leader, Abdullah Bello. This follows the submission of a report by the committee set up by the state chief judge, Justice Nadir Ajana, to investigate allegations of gross misconduct against the deputy governor. The committee was set up in August to investigate the deputy governor after he accused Governor Yaya Bello of withholding his salaries and impress since 2017. Impeachment has processes. And the large process of impeachment is the verdict of the panel. If the panel says the case of the complainant is proved. It means that the accused, which is the respondent in the case, can be removed. But if the case is not proved, they can't do anything concerning my office. And that is the situation. The report before the assembly said that the case brought against me is not proved. So what you are seeing is a continuation of the illegality that I've been complaining about loudly. I've been heard completely. I presented myself before the panel, and the report of the panel is out. And I will get a copy of the panel report out in no time to prove to you that what they have done is complete illegality. What they have done is nothing. I am not going to respond to it. I am the deputy governor of Kogi State, and I remain the deputy governor of Kogi State. Those are some of the reactions of the of Mr. Simon Achuba. Uh, we spoke earlier to Channel Television on telephone. Uh, well, we understand now that um, uh, Mr. Achuba, uh, in some of the report made available, uh, that very report uh, being referred to. Uh, made available to channels television showed aspect of it saying that allegations contained in the notice of the evidence against Mr. Achuba have not been proved. That is what the conclusion part of that document said. Well, Channel Television gathered that Mr. Edward Onoja, the governor's chief of staff, might be screened by the Kogi State House of Assembly and sworn in as the new deputy governor. Well, let's leave Kogi matter now and let's check out some other Stories we are following for you on our political roundup. The People's Democratic Party in Taraba State has reacted to the call by the Nigerian ambassador to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Alhaji Hassanado, on the State House of Assembly to urgently commence the impeachment process of the state governor, Mr. Ishako. Mr. Darius Ishaku for gross violation of the Constitution, fraudulent misappropriation of state funds, and total incompetence. The Cross River State Governor, Professor Ben Ayade, has sworn in two new judges of the High Court with a charge on them not to compromise on justice delivery at all times. There is no amount of enticement, there is no amount of political pressure, there is no amount of money. I can make you compromise justice. 
Nearly five months after winning the election in Kwara State, the All Progressive Congress is facing the crisis of who should be the leader of the party in the state. With the swearing of the new executive of the party in some local government areas, issues over disloyalty are raised while some are loyal to the governor, others are said to be loyal to the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed.